Hey AI art enthusiasts, welcome back to School Curve. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you the complete procedure to locally download the greatest AI image generator, which is Stable Diffusion. So yeah, I'll be running you through the complete process of downloading Stable Diffusion locally into your system and testing out few prompts in it just to check like how good it is. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so I'll be downloading the Stable Diffusion locally onto my Linux based operating system. So here I am on the web UI repository of like automatic 1111. So we actually need web UI to make this thing up and running. So this is how the web UI looks. So this is pretty much similar to AI image generation tools out there. So if we scroll down, so you can see here that it has given the instruction for like for installation on Windows and installation on Linux as well. So first of all, I need to install the dependencies. So I will copy the prompt from here. Then I will open up the terminal. You can see right over here and I will simply paste it in right here. I'll then hit enter and we'll make sure that it installs everything. Yes, I want to continue. So it's installing all the necessary modules for us. It's done, you can see right over here. Then the next step I need to do, I actually want my web UI to be installed. So for that, I can simply copy this command and come back to my terminal and I will simply cd into desktop where I want my web UI to be. So I'm inside of my desktop. Here I'll paste the command and hit enter. So what it will do, it will simply make this file like webui.sh right on your desktop, which is here. Okay. Now I actually need to run this webui.sh file. First of all, I'll make it executable by writing this command. It's done. Then I'll simply do dot forward slash webui.sh. So it's running. You can see right over here. It's cloning into this stable diffusion web UI and it will do everything for you. You just need to wait for a while. So all right, you can see right over here that our UI has been loaded successfully. So here we are inside of our stable diffusion web UI. So from here, you can simply load the model. Uh, it actually downloaded the stable diffusion 1.5 model automatically. All right, so I'll be testing out this tool uh, from here now. So you can see uh, this is the interface of Stable Diffusion. So we have the option of text to image, then we have image to image. So we have extras, PNG info, and lots of other uh, options as well. And over here, uh, you can see here uh, is the main thing that we need to type in a prompt. And we also get the option of negative prompt too, which is really, really amazing. Like you can input the things that you don't want in your images, right? So then uh, we have few of the more parameters. We have the option of generation in which you have sampling method, sampling steps, width, height, CFT scale, like lots of other things, which uh, you can go ahead and adjust by your own just to play with the images you want to create out of stable diffusion, okay? Then we have the option of textual inversion, uh, hybrid networks, checkpoints. So yes. Now let's just go ahead and test out uh, the text to image, like type in a, a simple prompt and see how it's gonna perform in text to image. Okay, so this is my prompt. A hyper-realistic photograph of ancient London architectural ruins in a flooded apocalypse landscape uh, of dead skyscraper lens players and all the other information. And along with that, I also provided the format like HD, HQ, 4K, 8K. So this is the kind of the prompt that you need in the stable diffusion in order to work out. So we'll be discussing uh, the prompt formula and everything in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. And after that, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave negative prompt as it is because we're testing it right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate. All right, so it's working. You can see the percentage and it's really, really fast as you guys can see. So yeah, just like that, within few seconds, our image is generated like, wow. Like check out the speed of this AI image generator. All right, so now let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at this image. So it was a hyper-realistic photograph of ancient London. So if I can go ahead and open this one. So yeah, take a look at the image. Like we have the reflection in the water, like all the architecture, everything. It seems absolutely perfect. Like check out the detail, the clouds, the black texture, the background. Look, everything is top-notch to the point, right? So yeah, let's just see a few of the parameters now. So we have the option of width, height. All right, so bad size basically means like how many images you want in one creation. So if I increase that to let's just say three. So for one generation, I'll be 
provided with three images, okay? And batch count means like how many multiple uh, generations you want for your single prompt, okay? All right, so this time I'll be providing in my prompt like a hyper-realistic photograph of ancient Malaysian architectural ruins in Borneo, East Malaysia. Lens blur, cinematic, high dream, made painting, concept art, and everything uh, that should be there in the prompt. And for the batch count and batch size, I'm going to go ahead and do a two for each one, okay? So it will multiply that to four like output images that it will create out of this prompt, right? So now let's just go ahead and generate this. And yeah, as you guys can see, just within few seconds, it will go ahead and generate the images for us. Like, wow, it's crazy. And if you go ahead and take a look at the images. So yeah, first of all, we have a collage of, you know, all the generation. And then we have the one by one generation. So this is looking absolutely beautiful for our hyper-realistic photograph of ancient Malaysian architecture. And uh, this is our second one, the third one, and the last one. So yeah, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Like, you know, uh, for the hyper-realistic photograph, uh, stable diffusion, no doubt, takes a lead. And this all uh, you can do locally in your system, like without using any of the web app. All right, so there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of stable diffusion, like how you can locally install it in your system, how you can run it. And yeah, I also uh, showed you a few prompts to test out this amazing AI image generator. So in the upcoming video, we're gonna go ahead and test out a bit more in depth, and we're gonna go ahead and also see the latest version of the stable diffusion, which is 2.1. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye.